So you bought an iPod Touch for someone this holiday season, or you bought an iPod Touch for yourself. And let's say you wanted to run third-party applications on the iPod Touch, as you know, because you're a techie, and or a geek, or whatever you call yourself, and you think to yourself, well, I know that the iPod Touch is basically an iPhone without the phone portion, so how, let, let's see if we can do, the similar, do a similar thing in what they do, what we call as jailbreak it. Now, right now, I'm holding an, my iPod Touch in my hand. And as of yesterday, I uh, did what they call jailbreak, is when basically you unlock the iPod Touch or, the, or your iPhone, and you open it up to be able to install third-party applications. As you can see right here, I have um, a few extra icons on my iPod right here along the bottom and the top, which, were, which are not there when you first buy it. So... What I've done is I went to a website called uh, jailbreakme.com. That's jailbreakme.com. And what you do is you go there on your iPod Touch. Now, in order, in order to get there on your iPod Touch, you must have Wi-Fi enabled and be connected to a wireless network. So once you do that, <clears throat> you go there on your iPod Touch, and you go to the bottom and you click Install. And you install this, uh, this, this uh, jailbreakme software, what they call the installer. Now keep in mind, if you're going to do this, you need to have version the firmware version 1.1.1. Now if you have the latest firmware installed, which is 1.1.2, you're going to have to downgrade. And in order to downgrade, you need to, um, actually there's directions, I'll give a link in the show, in the show notes part, to where you can read the directions on how to follow the step by step. Anyway, they have a download where you can you connect your iPod, you downgrade the firmware, and once you downgrade the firmware, you install this um, this jailbreak software. Now, once it's installed, you can update the firmware again to 1.1.2, and they have a little patch, and that's also going to be in the link that I provide later on. And if you once you follow their directions, you will be able to um, well, basically, you're going to have a, a latest the latest firmware in your iPod Touch, along with the gel, a jailbroken one, uh, so you can install third-party apps. Now, well, now after I after I did the jailbreak, I was very uh, surprised by some of the applications that were there. You can use IRC. There's a there's a few IRC clients. You can even there's a Stumbler application. If you have Mac OS X, you must you're probably familiar with Stumbler, which is basically a um, software that helps you find open wireless networks and stuff, so you can connect to them if you're somewhere and you don't know if there's any networks around or whatnot. And then there's also, what I, and there's another one called Simplify. Now, this Simplify application is what I'm really, really excited about. This is an excellent little application. If you go, it's called Simplify Media. If you go to Google, I'll also provide this link. It's called, it's simplifymedia.com. So you're gonna go there, you're gonna down, you're gonna, and now you're gonna go there on your PC. You're gonna download the software on your, on your PC you're going to also download the software on your iPod Touch. Now, once the software is on your iPod Touch and once the software is on your PC and you create an account with them, once you do, once you create the account and you have it set, what you basically what the software allows you to do is share your music folder on your PC, and you can access it through your iPod Touch wherever you have a Wi-Fi connection, and you can basically listen to any of the songs in your music folder without them being on your iPod Touch without them so you don't so you don't need them on the iPod Touch and that's excellent because think about it you don't you have six you have an 8 gig iPod Touch or a 16 gig and you have 30 gigs of music let's say you can't obviously fit all of that on your iPod Touch so now with this application if you're somewhere where there's a Wi-Fi connection and you don't have um, the song you want you connect to the Simplify software and I'll load it up right now I have a little account I'll log in, you go to all songs, and basically you can see right here, there's a list of all the songs, I mean, I'll see if I get a better view, I'm not sure you can actually see that, but maybe, you see all the song, so, uh, list of songs that are on my computer, not all, now, not all of these are actually on my iPod Touch, in fact, a lot of these in the front are not on my iPod Touch, as you can see, and you can listen to them through this software. And that's that's amazing. Imagine that. This is great because 
it's pretty soon with the with the whole bidding on that spectrum, the 700 megahertz spectrum, which they want to make you know free Wi-Fi and whatever. This is going to be excellent. You're not going to think you're not going to need a hard drive in your iPod anymore. Uh, you can still have one, but you're, I mean, with this with this technology, this is excellent. You basically are, you know, you're 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 freeing up yourself from, you know, limiting what what music you listen to on your device. And this is so cool. I mean, I'm really excited about this. I'm really really excited about this. I hope to use this very often, whenever I have a connection and I don't, I'm looking for a song and I don't have it. And you can play it as long as the connection's I guess somewhat decent. You will be able to. Uh, you know, listen to it pretty smoothly. At least I am on my home network, and it's working perfectly fine. No issues. I listen to a bunch of songs. It sounds great. It plays fine. So, uh, you know, highly recommend that you check this out. I'll give the links in in the in the show notes on the little video that I on the on the video portion. So, highly recommend it out. It is uh, jailbreakme.com and simplifymedia.com, and you're watching the best techie.net show. Thanks for watching. It's B-E-S-T-T-E-C-H-I-E dot net. We'll see you later.